Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about number test. Uh, in this session, I am going to discussing about uh, number test one more model. This is the last and final model in number test topic. Uh, so by this session, uh, we'll wind up this uh, number test uh, uh, topic. Uh, so uh, this model is very important. Uh, please be listen carefully. Here, this model is completely about some rules and regulations. Uh, he will give uh, initially some rules. Uh, according to those rules, uh, he will give some uh, series of numbers. Uh, here, this is first series and this is second series. Uh, here, by using these rules, uh, we have to find the uh, answer for the given question. First of all, you have to read the rules uh, first. Uh, what are the rules given? Before that, uh, one information is given. Read that information carefully before going to solve the problems. Uh, see, in each of the following uh, questions, in each of the following questions, uh, two rows of numbers are given. See here, two rows of uh, numbers. These are the two rows of numbers. Uh, the resultant uh, number in each row is to be worked out separately. In each and every row, resultant number worked out separately based on the following rules. Uh, here some set of rules are given. F total four rules are given. And uh, the questions below the rows of numbers are answered. The operations of numbers progress from left to right. Here the operations which we need to perform that is from left hand side to right hand side from this side to this side right left hand side to right hand side now we will see one by one rules uh, first rule if odd number is followed by two digit even number odd number followed by two digit even number then both are added then both are added that is the first rule and the second rule is odd number is followed by two digit odd number then Second number is subtracted from first number. Second number is subtracted from first number if odd number is followed by two digit odd number. If odd number is followed by two digit even number then both are added. And the third rule is uh, if an even number is followed by a number, even number followed by a number which is a perfect square of a number. If even number is followed by perfect square then second number is uh, Second number is uh, divided by the first number. Second number is divided by the first number if even number is followed by perfect square. Next, uh, if even number is followed by, if even number is followed by two digit even number, if even number is followed by two digit even number, then the first number is multiplied by second number. First number is multiplied by second number. These are the four rules which are given in this question. Now, based on that, we have to solve the problem. First, uh, two uh, sets are given, 13 and 11. First one is 13 to 11. Here, this is odd number. 13 is odd number. Odd number followed by two digit odd number. Odd number followed by two digit odd number. Then the uh, second number is subtracted from first number, rule 2. According to rule 2, odd number followed by two digit odd number, then second number is subtracted from first number. 13 minus 11 which is equal to 2. Now, 2 to 4. Here, even number. 2 is even number. 2 is even number. Even number is followed by perfect square. If even number is followed by perfect square, then second number is divided by, that is 4 divided by first number, that is 2. Second number divided by first number, which is uh, 2. 4 divided by 2. Therefore, resultant of uh, first row, resultant of first row of numbers, that is equal to 2. This is the resultant answer for first row of numbers. Now, see the second row. 17 to 13. Odd number followed by two digit odd number. Odd number followed by two digit odd number. Then both are subtracted. Second number is uh, subtracted from first number. 17 minus 13 which is equal to 4. Now 4 is even number. Even number followed by two digit even number. That is rule number 4. 
even number followed by two digit even number then first number and second number both are multiplied that is 4 into 12 which is equal to 48 this is the resultant of second row resultant of first row is 2 resultant of second row is 48 now see the question what he has given if the resultant of first set of numbers Resultant of first set of numbers. What is resultant of first set of numbers? 2 is multiplied by the resultant of second set of numbers. Is multiplied by resultant of second set of numbers. Resultant of second set of numbers which is equal to 48. If these two are multiplied, then the answer. What will be the outcome? Outcome of these two. 2 into 48. 2 into 48 which is equal to 96. 2 into 48 which is equal to 96. That is option D is the right answer. Guys, here you need to find the resultant of first row of numbers and also resultant of second row of numbers. After that, he will ask based on the resultant whether he can uh, say uh, addition of those two resultants or else uh, subtraction of those two resultant numbers or a multiplication or else division right based on but definitely you need to find the resultant of first row of numbers and also resultant of second row of numbers uh, by using the given rules and regulations that is uh, four rules are given based on that you need to find the resultant of uh, those two rows Let's see the second question. See here. Same rules. Sir. There is no change at all. Rules are same. Now, 15 and 11. Odd number followed by two digit odd number. If odd number followed by two digit odd number, then second number is subtracted from first number. So, it is 4. Now, 4 that is even number. Even number followed by even number, two digit even number, even number for according to rule number four, even number followed by two digit even number, then first number is multiplied by second number. It means uh, these two are multiplied, four into 20, which is equal to 80, which is equal to 80. Now from this, uh, 80 is even number, even number followed by, even number followed by, a perfect square even number followed by a perfect square 400 is a perfect square number even number followed by perfect square then what is the rule second number second number is divided by first number 400 divided by 80 that is equal to 400 by 80 which is equal to 5 this is the final result that is the final result of uh, First row of numbers. First row of numbers, final result is 5. Now, let's see the second row of numbers. Even number followed by two digit even number. Even number followed by two digit even number, then both are multiplied. 8 into 12, which is equal to 96. 96. Again, even number followed by even number followed by two digit even number then also again both are multiplied 96 into 10 which is equal to 960 which is equal to 960 resultant of first row of numbers is 5 resultant of second row of numbers is uh, 960 now the question is uh, if the resultant of second set of numbers is divided by here second set of numbers that is 960 is divided by resultant of first set of numbers resultant of first set of numbers is 5 then what will be the output outcome here 960 is divided by 5 what is the outcome here it is a 5 answer next uh, 4 next uh, 5 9 sir again 2 times 192 times 192 is the resultant output if you divide a second set of numbers resultant with first set of numbers resultant the resultant answer is 192 192 is the right answer option e here 192 is not given here 19 is given 92 is given 196 is given and also 
200 is given but 192 is not given here it is one time after that 46 is there uh, 5 nines are 45 still uh, one is there one is a reminder 10 means uh, 5 twos are 192 option e here 192 answer is not there in the given options so option e is the right answer let's see the last question see here 8 followed by even number followed by perfect square 16 is a perfect square even number followed by perfect square then second number is divided by first number second number is divided by first number that means 16 divided by 8 16 divided by 8 the output is 2 the output is 2 next even number followed by even number followed by again perfect square even number followed by perfect square again the rule is same rule second number is divided by second number is divided by first number 16 by 2 which is equal to 8 now again even number is followed by two digit even number even number followed by two digit even number then first number and last number that is first number and second number both are multiplied 8 into 14 8 into 14 which is equal to 112 8 into 14 14 8 is 112 therefore resultant answer of first set of numbers resultant answer of first set of numbers is equal to 112 next now we'll see the second set of numbers sir odd number followed by two digit odd number then the rule is uh, second number is subtracted from first number 13 minus 11 which is equal to 2 after that uh, even number is followed by two digit even number if even number is followed by two digit even number then both are multiplied even number followed by two digit even number then both are multiplied 2 into 12 24 2 into 12, 24. After that, to even number followed by even number followed by perfect square. If even number followed by perfect square, then second number is divided by first number. That is 144 divided by 24, which is equal to 6. Second number is 144 divided by first number 24. That is equal to 6. Therefore, the resultant of uh, second uh, set of numbers, resultant of second set of numbers is uh, 6, whereas resultant of uh, first set of numbers is uh, 112. Now, the question is, uh, read the question carefully. What is the difference between, what is the difference between the resultant of first set of numbers and uh, second set of numbers? Here, Resultant of first set of numbers is 112 and that of second set is 6. The difference between these two, 112 minus 6, which is equal to 106. That is the difference between first set of numbers, resultant of first set of numbers and second set of numbers. Option A is the right answer, 106. Guys, these are the various models of problems in number test. I hope uh, you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.